Today we're back in the Star Trek universe watching Into Darkness in the Kelvin timeline. What did you think about today's movie? Uh, Star Trek Into Darkness, I give it a 6 out of 10. I did not feel things in this movie like I did in the 2009 original version. Just that one felt more flying by the seat of my pants, characters growing, things happening. Here, I didn't feel it as much. That's primarily why I knock it down to a 6 out of 10. Uh, there's some other problems like Khan felt overpowered. A lot of the plot points felt kind of contrived. Um, Kirk and Spock's character growth didn't hit as hard for me. In the first one, it felt like, you know, they're going from high school to academy to captain. Big movements in character. Here, I didn't feel it as much. Um, the fact that the USS Vengeance took out a whole city, that was felt understated. That's kind of huge. Uh, the movie kind of dragged at the end. I did like the acting. Uh, and I wanted to see the five-year mission, which we never really actually get to see in this trilogy. So that was kind of a disappointment. Overall, it's a solid entrance into the Kelvin timeline. But for me, 6 out of 10. What did you think? I gave this movie a 7 out of 10. So first thing, Khan being overpowered. I mean, I guess that's the point of Khan, right? He is like this genetically modified eugenics human. It's super strong, super awesome. And so, but, but clearly like eugenics bad. Like we don't want to be doing eugenics, all sorts of societal and personal problems. Not good. But when Khan took out like a hundred Klingons more or less by himself, I was like, eugenics, eugenics good. Like actually maybe like something to think about for when humanity's out in space. And I did like the character arcs for Spock and Uhura specifically. You really see how like they both have their, where they start, they have problems and they overcome the problems. Really good character arcs for those two specifically. Um, there was some growth for Sulu and Ch and Chekhov. They like be, they have become more important in the ship, but ne not necessarily the hero's journey where they have some some negative trait that they have to overcome. Um, that being said, I really did like the relationship between Spock and Kirk. They they they're clearly set up from the beginning of. Kirk is flying by the seat of his pants and Spock follows the rules. And then by the end, they figure out, oh, we need to work together. Actually, our friendship is what's really important. Super good, super good. I like that plot point. But Kirk by himself, I'm not really sure that he had a character arc. He's flying by the seat of his pants, making decisions that are, are, are haphazard. And by the end, I don't think any of that bites him in the butt. I think it actually is proven that's just, just what he should do more of. Um, but maybe, maybe there was some humbling in there, even though that, I mean, he, he's the main character, he wins in the end, but maybe there was some humbling when he went to 1v1 versus Khan and really got his ass handed to him. Um, maybe also when he went against USS Vengeance and he's like, I'm powerless in this situation, um, but he also scraps it together and makes it out by the end of the day. Um, there, are some sin, there are also some scenes that really feel forced, um, feels plotty, feels like, 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 this character's motivation from what we've seen them before doesn't make sense that they do this, but I, I get it because the scene needs to happen so that the story makes sense. Uh, but it, it takes me out of it. It, it feels uh, it's very uncomfortable to have this like meta analysis going on. But still, still Star Trek and Kelvin timeline. The actors are super fun. The 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 movie is like dynamic and flashy and exciting. It's a summer blockbuster. Seven out of ten. Okay, one Great thing talk. I'd like to say is I do see the character development in the movie. I just didn't feel it for whatever reason mm. as much. I didn't feel it as much as I did in the first one. The first one, I'm like, <gasps> yeah, yeah, like yeah, I'm in it. And this Dramatic. one, I'm like along for the ride, but I'm not immersed as much as I am for the first one. I can't explain why, but it's a lot more subtle, a lot, it's mm -hmm. a lot less clear of where the characters are going. Right. Yeah, for me, it was right at the end where when Spock says, like, oh, we've never been on a five-year mission before, so there's no rules here, so I'll follow your lead. Like, like Spock mm -hmm. stopped fighting Kirk, and Kirk's like, fly by the seat of your pants. Right. And, uh, and Kirk, yeah, acknowledges Spock, and he's like, yeah, I should listen to you. Yeah.